What's up guys, Iovo here and today I have a brand new how-to video for you guys. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to improve the quality of your videos in Sony Vegas in a couple of really easy steps. Now this is not a color correcting tutorial because I'm not using the color correcting tool, but this is just a much simpler way to improve the quality of your videos. I use this in my vlogs and you know, any camera can look a lot better. The footage can look a lot better after these steps. Like as you can see right now, everything looks a bit washed out, but after we're done with this footage, it's going to look a lot nicer. Now with that being said, be sure to hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can break 2000 likes for this video. And with that being said, let's get started. So once you import your footage, the first thing I usually do is adjust the brightness and contrast of the actual footage. Now you select on the brightness and contrast tool and you can drag over the effect. Now, if you want to affect only one clip in the actual project, you drag it over the clip. If you want to make it so that it affects all of the tracks or all of the clips in the one track, you drag it over here where the track is and you drop it. And from here, you can adjust the brightness and the contrast. Now, there are no set numbers I'm going to be giving you for adjusting everything in this video because it's all dependent on the footage. All footage has different lighting, different angles, and you have to find what's best. But usually what I do is I turn down the brightness a little bit and I up the contrast like so, and then I make it a bit more higher contrast and that looks good. And then I close it. Now things do look a little bit grainy, but that's only because of the actual view tool on Sony Vegas. Once you render it, it's going to look really crisp. And you can compare your before and after changes by clicking on this button over here. So you can already see with one tool, everything looks a lot more clear, colorful, and everything pops a little bit more. Now the next tool I do is I go ahead and add the color curves tool. So I'm going to drag that onto the track and then I move the top curve a little bit higher and the bottom curve a little bit lower like so. Not as much. And then I close that out. And once again, we can compare and things look a lot better. Everything looks a lot more, not intense, but everything looks a lot sharper and it looks more proper in my opinion. And then after that, what you can do is you can change the saturation by going to the saturation adjust tool, dragging that onto the track and we can adjust the lows and make them a bit higher. So as you can see, the colors start to pop a bit more. And that looks good. You can also mess with the highs if you want, but we're going to leave them the way they are. So as you can see with these three tools, the footage looks a lot better. And if you want to adjust the tools, you can just click on them over here and still change things up. Or if you want to remove a tool, you just click on the check mark button and you can see the difference it actually makes. So as you can see, all three of these tools make a big difference in our footage. And it only took a few seconds to actually add them on and there was no actual color correcting involved. It's very simple and it's easy to do. But that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.